Gaming TV. Today is the 23rd of uh, June uh, 2023. So guys, the opposition citizens coalition for change supremacy party is accused and appear of opposing confusion by feuding double and in some areas triple nominations across the country. Triple C spokesperson Fazemahiri alleged that ZANPF forged signatures on nomination papers to cause chaos after it failed to penetrate the party systems. Speaking during a press conference in the capital on Thursday, Mahiri said they discovered double nominations in 20 provinces and they had reported the matter to the police. The Triple C has also filed an appeal with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, objecting to people whose names appear as Triple C candidates but were not signed for by the party. Mayere said they have sufficient evidence of fraud and would be going to court. She said, ZNPF failed to penetrate our systems and what did they do? They went and forged our signatures and created 20 odd double candidates that you see across the country for National Assembly and a number of them in words across the country. We have filed objections in terms of the Electoral Act to people whose names appear as our candidates and we are not signed for by us. The second issue is that criminal reports have been made to the police in Mashingo and other constituencies because this is a fraud, it's criminal. In some cases, we have a candidate who says, well, my money was paid in papers filed but not by me. I don't know who filed this. There is someone clearly behind that. Minor ZNPF has distanced itself from the chaos and said it was satisfied with its own nomination process and expecting victory in the August 23 polls. Former Information Minister Jonathan Moyo responded to accusations that ZNPF was responsible for the Triple C double nominations. The political science professor argued that the Triple C was criminalizing politics and that the fact that the double nominations involved Triple C members who participated in the party's opaque candidate selection process indicated a lack of internal structures and processes to deal with its own members. Moyo criticized the Triple C for abusing the criminal justice system and urged the party to develop a constitution and structures to manage its internal politics. He said, Triple C criminalizing politics, the fact that Triple C's triple and double candidate nominations actually involve individuals who are its members and who as such participated in its opaque candidate selection process and some won in that process which used the old fashioned but visible Erika Mwana method means that Triple C should cry for to and about those individuals meaning its members and no one else those individuals who in Triple C's triple or double nomination saga are supposed to be Triple C members. The fact that Triple C is crying foil point fingers to outsiders like ZANPF and FAS clearly means Triple C does not have structures and processes to deal with its errant or wayward members. So Triple C is now turning what is political into criminal conduct, alleging fraud against its members and whomever is alleged to have convened with them hoping to get Zimbabwe Republic police to help it manage its structureless internal politics. But this is absurd. As a political party, Triple C is abusing the criminal justice system simply and not and only because it has no structures to do with its alleged members who were so wayward as to register themselves as Triple C, Triple or Double candidates. Triple C should stop criminalizing politics and come to terms with the consequences of not having a constitution and not having structures based on that constitution. Zimbabwe goes to the polls on August 23 to elect a new president, members of parliament, MPs, senators and councillors. So guys, that's the latest here. Fazemaire, Triple C, uh, blaming ZANPF for causing confusion. And uh, is that still insisting that uh, people forged signatures or nomination papers to cause chaos and uh, after Zanapio failed to penetrate the party systems. Doma Tora Kutukane is Triple C. At the same time, Professor Janda Nomo Yawaru Kutu Aywa probably made it with Triple C because Aenama structures and uh, yes. And uh, some of these guys are going to see Waka Enisa Mepepa Oku Zek. These guys are actually Triple C members. And uh, one of them is Triple C and one of them is PF. So in that problem is with PF, problem is with Triple C equal because my staff now 
akawendisa kuzeki ndiani wana wakatu nino sayi nama papers kuzeki waka nda hiri uh, weza anu pf wakano sayi na unibia hafo of triple c kana uti the triple c wachi wawo wa, waka nda unibia nama papers yaya kuzeki because meba kuti kana uchinza beba lako ku numeshen kuti ufala unge uripo in person and uh, no one is gonna be there for you you're gonna be there in person we submit my papers ako ne signature yako yoyo so i tell me that kuti banda what five from fakose instead of kira kawuri kena lako zeki ya asipo this is what uh triple c is saying kuti uh, mumu na wakati nisa sara banda kuzeki ya asipo banda haru kumba kwa kisha ke haka zungwana instead of kira hapa ma nomination list and so there's so many questions that uh triple c needs to clarify here at the same time uh professor moyo one point at the same time fazema here one point zakari and so we'll be keeping you guys up to date with the latest here and we hope that this whole double candidate situation can be uh clarified can be verified uh whoever is responsible whoever is behind uh this whole situation should be held accountable and uh, saga We'll be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest here if this remains like this until elections triple c will be losing at least 20 wards or 20 parliamentary seats to zanu pf because double candidates as you it it will also uh, separate my votes a triple c so i just hope and pray that uh, this whole situation will be solved at the same time we can't downplay what professor Jonathan Moyo is saying here banyayema structures and got to manage the internal politics zvakara zvakakosha nyaya ye constitution ne political party last year chamisa vakati uh, constitution yacho opa kudhara and rasaka i don't know why triple c hasn't actually released the constitution of the party why was nama structures inyaya zvakare kuti we did talk about it here vana vakanda vakati hazvina basa hazvina basa so there may be problems uh, because of that, because of uh, the mass structures. And, but anyway, we'll be keeping you up to date with the latest here. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. You're listening, you're watching to daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Your views, your opinion are welcomed in the comment section. And this is good to Kana, but we're just discussing. And uh, so let's keep it civil. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Remember to follow us everywhere. Facebook page is a Prince Manager Entertainment TV. Our videos are now available in real time and so you can just go and watch our videos there on our facebook page which is a prince Miller entertainment tv and also our facebook group which is a prince miller entertainment tv also just go and watch like share comment and please tell a friend you tell a friend to be part of us here 